Hi everybody, Anna here for my third installment of an interview and chat with my good friends. Um, so today I have the pleasure and honor of speaking to my very good friend, Heather Sorgat. Um, she's from Restyle Spaces and she is a fantastic stager that I've been using over the last number of years with my clients. So um, welcome Heather to our little interview. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Nice to see your pretty face. Yes, nice to see your smile too. Um, so Heather, could you take a few moments and just introduce yourself? Yeah, um, I have, in 2015, I guess, I started my company, Restyled Spaces, and home staging company. And so what I do um, on the non-COVID type of environment is I would um, work with uh, my homeowners, my sellers, property managers or anybody that you know Anna Lovely would introduce me to um, and try to help them get their properties ready to sell and that whole process that comes with getting your, your property ready to sell so as I often say to my clients staging is a process it takes time and um, now would be I think an awesome opportunity to take advantage of the time that we've got at home to get some of the things ready to go so. awesome so it's funny because back in my parents time I remember selling our home and literally we put a for sale sign up and we kind of cleaned the house and that was it. Um, staging today is so important. Um, maybe just touch upon real quick why staging is so important today. Yeah so today's today's buyers have got very different expectations as to um, even 10 years ago and our really quite busy environment, our society, um, you know, how much time, free time we have, as well as the willingness to sort of take on projects um, has really, really changed. And the way that we live in a house today is super different than the way that we used to live in a house, what we used to expect out of a house. Mm -hmm. From, from that from, from years past so staging is um, is often referred to from my standpoint as a, as a bridge it's a bridge between sort of the way we used to live to in in our homes to the way that the buyer when they open that front door is really expecting and what they're expecting to see there's a lot of psychology that's involved these days in in, in understanding that buyers um, want to sort of attach themselves emotionally to a house and when they can do that um, by sort of um, you know decluttering being a being a huge part of it depersonalizing a little bit of the home and really showing off the home in its true form by removing all the things that we necessarily don't use or need or maybe we've been living in it differently than the way the house was intended to right, right. Um, some people have a home office in their dining room because that just really works for them but maybe you know the new buyer coming in really wants a dining room and they love to entertain so you know understanding the, the functionality of a house how is it mm. how is it originally intended you know we should be bringing those areas back to the way they were um, intended from the way that it was built and um, and that will also help sort of the buyers really see the see the space and understand the space there's there's a lot to to the staging and now even more important than ever um, because we're relying on our visuals right mm -hmm. we are sort of now um, going through with a camera lens and and actually it's kind of interesting because that camera lens is the way that I actually instruct my sellers generally because your online portfolio um, which your house now becomes is um, is become very visual now and there's some things that we need to do when we stage to sort of help pull that those visual elements together and so understanding you know what are the buyers looking for when they look at a picture um, you know or or a video um, are you we helping them sell the house are we merchandising this house properly right. um, so that they can so they can really see it because if they can't get in and they can't get a sense of how it feels but you know lighting and and, and allowing the natural light to come in showing off the wonderful yummy parts of the house like the you know the lovely floors and amazing countertops I mean it all becomes really important to stage because we really need to show and show those assets off to the buyers and we only have a little bit of time to do that and capture that absolutely yeah, yeah absolutely yeah really important to stage for sure um, things like you know when you and I go through a house and stuff sometimes there's a beautiful bay window <clears throat> and it's full of plants which is lovely but the buyer can't see the beautiful window for the trees 
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, the, the yeah. understanding and seeing those windows, especially when we've been cooped up all winter. Exactly. And exactly. now we're sort of dying to be outside. <laughs> we're, 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 we're absolutely thriving for that warm sunlight and all the natural light. There's, yeah, windows yeah. are an extremely important. important. So how are you, so sort of staging is, has been important for a really long time in real estate and continues to be even more so now. So during the COVID-19 self-isolation, how are you still able to help clients virtually? Right. So we have, or I've developed a way of still being able to sort of be sort of right by your side. Um, we can do a, um, an, on, an online or a virtual consul staging consultation is sort of the way I describe it. And um, my sellers are um, able to sort of put me up on Zoom, on Skype, on FaceTime, on WhatsApp. You know, there's so many different methods, which is mm. wonderful. And, um, and we take a tour right from the front door, you know, all the way through, all the way through the house and, and come up with the same plan that we would, you know, if I was standing sort of beside them and, and leading them through all the decisions, the recommendations, um, you know, the colors and just the overall, um, um, overall flow of the house and, and, and how it sort of needs to be. And, and sort of, we counsel them on that. They, they also are a little bit, maybe a bit more hands-on, which is kind of fun um, in, in making those changes. But, but what I do after we're sort of done our call is I'll follow up with an emailed report. And okay. it's a line by line, room by room, sort of guide and checklist for them to follow through on the things that we discussed. And um, yeah, we can, we can do everything right now. We can, um, we can recommend, you know, sort of paint colors still, if there's good light and we can get a sense of what they've got going on. You know, there's really not a lot ha that has changed. It's just sort of a different way of doing, going about right. it. Right. Awesome. That's great to know. So um, most people I'm finding, unless they don't have to move uh, right now or are choosing to wait this out. Um, so, I always tell people now is a great opportunity to get some of that stuff done to prepare your house for the market because once this is over, so they're ready to hit the road um, uh, yeah. to get on the market. So any suggestions that you might have for people on things they can do um, whilst, whilst they're home, staying safe? Yeah. <clears throat> I got a lot of suggestions. I'm always full of work and to-do lists. That's what people know when they're going to come around that Heather's going to bring her lists. So, I mean, let's just face it. People have nothing to do. What are they doing right now? They're going for drives. They are mm. looking and exploring new neighborhoods that they've never been saying, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's pretty, right? Maybe that's where they're kind of starting out because they can't get out of their car. So your curb appeal right now is super important. Um, mm -hmm. You know, taking the time to work on your gardens, dethatch those lawns, rake, right? Clean up your flower beds, do all that stuff. You know, you, you can still do that. You've got the time, you've got the ability, the weather's getting nice. Take mm -hmm. down your Christmas de decorations now, please. Remove your lights. I don't know how many people are in my neighborhood still have their lights on. Um, you know, things like that, that, you know, you just need the time to do, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Please, you, you know, now's the time to, like, replace the light bulbs that have burnt out, you know, on either side of your door or, you know, your light stand at the, at the you know, the end of the driveway. It's gone out two years ago and you've been meaning to get around to it. Now's the time. Make yourself a to-do list. And, and just start getting it done. But, you know, tackling the gardens, we are absolutely, like I said, desperate for being outside in some warm weather. So if you've got a, you've got a lovely property and, you know, you can easily, you know, kind of use it up with some curb appeal by, you know, maybe getting yourself a couple of bags of mulch, put them in the garden beds. You know, the, I know that the, the um, Ronas and the Home Depots and stuff are still, you can order online and they'll drop it off in the, you know, in the back of your car. So it's contactless, it's safe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's easy ways that we can be yeah. doing this. It's really important. Yeah, and curb appeal is something I think people tend to forget about when they're getting their house ready for the market. And I know that you and I have talked about this in the past that, I don't know, as a, as a potential buyer is walking up your walkway, they're already making a decision whether or not they like the house and they haven't even been inside. So That's it's right. really, it's a psychological thing. And like you said before, buying a home is a real emotional uh, an emotional thing. And so in our industry, that's what we're trying to do is sell an emotion about the property, the home, um, you know, why it's lovely to live there. And part of that is the curb appeal. And, and, and it's, 
you really have to remember that as someone's walking up and if you've got a messy front yard, they're thinking, oh, the yard's messy, then what's the house gonna look like? So That's they're right. already not expecting a great, a great, you know, inside of the property. Yeah, so it's really important. Already, they're already setting their expectation based on what they're seeing from the outside of the home. So if you are going to present a home and you know, this is what I counsel a lot of the clients on, as you know, is that, you know, you've got, you've got only a few moments in order to, you know, in, to make a good impression. Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. it, it needs to be lasting and it needs to feel welcoming and it needs to feel well maintained. Right. When you spend the time um, to get your house ready by, you know, um, you know, getting that magic eraser out and getting rid of all the scuff marks and, you know, and repainting those walls that you know need to be repainted because you've loved your house and you've lived in your house and it's, it's just, that's the way it is, but it's time now to, to present it in a, in a, in another, you know, in, in a nicer way, you know, pack away those boxes, get your seasonal stuff, you know, now's mm. a perfect time. Let's pack away, and except for there was snow this morning, um, <laughs> pack away, pack away. You know, the really heavy winter stuff. Now's the time to do that. Make some room in your closets. Make room for the things that absolutely need to be out. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, there's so many things that we can be doing um, in order to sort of to get ready. And um, you know, those are those are some easy kind of. Um, and and I think if we were all sort of using a little bit of our common sort of sense when we look at our house and we think, you know, the things yeah. that are bugging us, you know, the buyers, it's good. Like the buyers yeah. are going to notice it too. So for sure, take advantage of the time and, and get it done. Yeah. Yeah. So I always tell people um, when they're getting ready to list and doing some work, it's like, you know, there's lots of little things that you can do to spruce up the home without spending a lot of time and money and energy. Right. And so those are the things that I think people could be doing now while they're off. And so part of my job as a realtor is to guide people into what those things are. So sometimes people want to, you know, renovate the kitchen or something. I'm like, well, probably not a great idea, again, depending on where you're living. Um, but you're probably not going to get that money back. But there are some things you can do instead that will lighten things up a little. So I provide people with those sort of suggestions. Um, you know, would it be a good idea for people to contact you or any other stager at this point while they're home to sign of, okay, guys, you know, we may have a couple of months of time off to do this stuff. Stager, Mrs. Stager, what would you suggest I do yeah. while I'm off? So could they, would that be a good thing for them yeah. to do? I, I, I always recommend people, even when it's not sort of this environment, to get a hold of your your, your real estate agent and your stager and have that introduction sooner rather than later. You know, yeah. we don't want the house to be in your eyes done. Mm. We want to see it sort of pre decisions because we have so much knowledge and information on what it is that the buyer is expecting to see. And we have so many tricks and information that we can, you know, uh, willingly give you about the right decisions to make in those circumstances mm. and the earlier the better so you're not wasting money you're not wasting time you're not having to do things over again um, it's better to have a plan and that's kind of what a stager really is is they're going to provide you know you know the seller with a plan and that mm. plan sort of executes everything from colors and selections you know how the whole house is going to sort of be showcased um, yeah. and right to the, you know, the nitty gritty, small, smallest detail. So when you have a plan to follow, it's actually quite easy for yeah. um, the sellers to stay focused and, and sort of have an end date towards, you know, what they're working for. Yeah. Yeah. I had Heather in actually a couple of weeks ago, just as sort of the stay inside, don't leave your house rule came out. Um, and my, my sellers did everything you suggested they did do. And it, they, you know, it's funny because they had a plan, right? So they were happy and they were able, it was a lot of work, but they did it. It wasn't like, you know, they weren't walking around from room to room saying, oh, I wonder what I should do to this room. They knew what to do to this room because we told them what to do. So it was an easy thing for them to follow. And we sold very quickly and for above ask and they were really pleased. And so staging really is important regardless of what's going on in the universe. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so, so yeah, I think that's all the questions I had. Was there anything else that you wanted to add? Heather or anything that we've pre-covered? No, you know, I just think that don't be, don't hesitate to, you know, to do the things that, um, you know, that you, that you've been kind of thinking and wondering, everybody's got a, a to-do list for themselves, yeah. right? right. Um, 
I, I always say, you know, if you pretend that you're going to move every five years, you'd get all your to-do lists done, right? right? So, you know, enjoy your home while you're in it. And, yeah. you know, and, and maybe getting a few of these little things done for the few months before you sell, you know what, you can enjoy your home while you're there, right? And exactly. that's, and that's, we just all want a happy place to sort of rest our head right now. And if it brings you peace that you, you know, you decluttered that, that space and, and you yeah. love it again, then, then why not? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Heather. Um, everyone who's watching, um, I'm going to put Heather's contact information at the end of the video. Um, so if you want to contact her and have any questions or um, concerns, whatever, Heather would love to hear from you and um, or if I can be of any help as well. So thank you, Heather, for your time today. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Anna. Nice okay. to see you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.